Hello everybody, this is Stephen Nelson. This is Full Time Devils. This is the huge Wayne Rooney debate, and there's only one man to chair that debate, isn't there? <laughs> I think you'll find that's me. What next for Wayne Rooney? We are going to find out. We have got John Shin, we have got Josh and we have got Paul from Rankcast, and we are going to get deep into it. We're going to give career advice, because who better than people on YouTube to tell Wayne Rooney what to do with himself? So, John, start us off. What does Wayne Rooney need to do from here? I think before we start, we need to take a moment to appreciate Wayne Rooney as a being and as a player for Manchester United. Sure, John, just tell us what he needs to do. Does he need to stay <laughs> in the club or what? Tell us, go. Uh, I don't think so. I think it's time to cash in on him and allow him to move on. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty clear we'll be able to free up some wage bill, uh, wage bills, you know, utilize the money elsewhere, you know, make, make uh, provisions elsewhere in the squad. But I think in the grander scheme of things, I think it's t thinking of Wayne, moving Wayne Rooney on is sort of like more important than this finance. I think it's more so passing on of the guard. I think we've seen all these uh, previous Sir Alex Ferguson players sort of moved on and new players coming in, taking more responsibilities. And I think by Wayne Rooney moving on to another club, and yes, I think it's good for both parties in that sense, but I think with Wayne Rooney moving on uh, maybe at the end of this season, it's going to leave a big hole in that squad. Joshy, he's probably lost his first choice status at the moment, I think it's fair to say. But do you think there's still a, a rule, room for him at the club or do you think we should look to move him on, do you reckon? I think there's an argument to say that he has got a role to play as evidenced by his uh, contribution the other day. I mean, last minute, granted it was from a free kick, but there is an argument to say that, yes, he's got a role to play within the squad, but not in the first 11. So it will come down to what his aspirations are moving forward. Um, when you chuck in the arguments regarding the financial side of things, his wages, uh, and then the potential of bringing in, uh, we won't talk about transfers, but bringing in you know, a top-end striker in the summer, then you're, you're looking at sort of less playing time for him. Certainly for the rest of the season, I, mean, I don't envisage that he would go in the January window. There's only a few days left anyway. Uh, but even if I wanted him, I mean, even if that was a possibility, I probably wouldn't want him to. The squad does... He does have a, a lot of respect within the squad, within the in the dressing room, even if it's more divided in, in the stands with the fans. So um, I can see the argument for keeping him on, but I think ultimately he's the type of player that's going to want to play first team football. I don't know that he'd want to do... Um, I can't see him doing that sort of Ryan Giggs role that he did towards the end of his uh, career where he sort of came on, made a, a, the, the odd impact here and there. So uh, from my perspective, if he is um, up for doing that type of a role, which I don't think he would be, then I'd certainly look at keeping him on because of the respect he has in, in the dressing room um, with the other players. And, and I think that's for the benefit of the team and the squad as a whole, especially with the youngsters that we have in the side. My personal feelings, and, th and that's putting my personal feelings aside, really. Um, but if he's got an issue with having to play that bit part role, then it's then I can see him moving on in the summer. Paul, there's a lack of characters in the game. I think everyone's you know, pretty much in agreement with that one. There's a lack of characters at Manchester United. Wayne Rooney is Manchester United's leading all-time goal scorer. England's leading all-time goal scorer. Won a lot in the game. There is a bit of a lack of experience in the United dressing room. Do you think keeping Wayne Rooney around for that alone would be enough to keep him at the club? Mm, I don't accept the premise of the question, I'm afraid. I don't think there are a lack of characters in uh, at United anymore. No, Pogba, Zlatan, even uh, some of the younger players. I mean, not to everyone's taste, right? I'm a, I'm a fan, but not everyone is. Jesse Lingard, clearly a character. Um, uh, Herrera and Mata, very different sorts of characters, but both uh, bring something to that to that dressing room. Uh, so I'm I'm not convinced that that's that, that we would lack for characters. I mean, I think it's quite sweet that people think that we'd be freeing up money on the wage bill by letting Rooney go. Uh, there's a very, very small percentage of the footballing world that would be prepared to take his wages off our hands. And uh, all those clubs are in China where I suspect Rooney himself probably doesn't want to go. Um, so uh, I think for him, what would be amazing would be to... Uh, this would require him taking a massive pay cut or United putting their hands in his, their pockets. But go to somewhere like AC Milan, one of the one of the big Italian clubs, have a bit of fun in Serie A, maybe try like have have spend a bit of time in France, just get a bit of a rounded experience, or even you know uh, head off to Hollywood and let Colleen spend some time on Rodeo Drive and play for the LA Galaxy, something like that um, to to end his career. I. I mean, he's obviously, he brings something to United. I mean, against Liverpool, he was instrumental in the goal. Against Stoke, he scored the equaliser. So both equalisers had a, a heavy uh, Rooney contribution to them. But it 
puts in mind, do you remember the, the game against Hull earlier in the season where Rashford scored after a moment of excellence from Rooney? Uh, but that came after a lot of quite poor play from Rooney. And it might have been that we didn't need a last-minute winner. It might have been that we didn't need a last-minute equaliser against Liverpool or uh, Stoke, especially Liverpool, where he, where he had a whole half to make a difference, uh, if it wasn't for the fact that Rooney isn't cutting it anymore. Um, so I don't think it's going to be a tragic loss if he goes, especially not if he's replaced by Griezmann in the summer. All right, John, one of the things that uh, one of the options on the table for Mr. Young Wayne Rooney over there is uh, moving abroad. As Paul just mentioned there, China seems to be one of the obvious destinations for him. But I think the MLS is also a destination potentially because of their Rooney rule. The MLS League themselves would potentially fund Rooney's massive wages. I think PSG would also be a, a likely destination where he might go there. And Syria, I think, is a little bit out of the, the woods. I mean, I don't even think they have Sketty Oops there, so I don't reckon he's probably going to, uh, to AC Milan. John, do you see anywhere that could attract Rooney, anywhere that could pay the sort of money that Rooney would go? And do you actually see him going any of them places? I can. I, I think China is more of a far stretch. I mean, yes, financially, China can really back up somebody of uh, Wayne Rooney's uh, wages. But I, I, I see Wayne Rooney moving towards more so the likes of PSG, if not towards the MLS. Uh, and and personally, if Wayne Rooney wants to uh, focus his, uh, his career, his future career, uh, post-retirement in management, which I think I know we'll touch up a little bit on later. I think he'll, it'll be good for him to get sort of uh, different diverse aspects of the footballing community. I mean, like what David Beckham's done, he's he's pr practically played almost everywhere. I mean, Italy, France, America, you name it. And I think Wayne Rooney, he still has a few years uh, of legs left in him. And I'm not saying, you know, he's going to retire in the next two years or so. But I think this is going to be a good opportunity for him to move around elsewhere. And, and then probably the best place to start would be MLS. Um, I think MLS with the DP situation would probably be the ideal situation for somebody like Rooney, who still wants to play uh, a significant role in a squad for him to come into a team and be the designated player and be the sort of focal point. I think that'll be a really win-win situation for both Rooney and the uh, the respective MLS club willing to sign him. Joshua, you got anything to say on this one? Do you think he's likely to go abroad? Do you think there's anywhere that he should be looking to go abroad? I mean, the problem is uh, his wages. They're so massive. Um, and at his age, that it's not it's no longer sort of that last move before he retires, you know, that last paycheck. It's actually he will have to take a pay cut. And that's why I don't I don't know that that will necessarily happen. I don't think PSG would would want him. They're certain, definitely not. Actually, they're, I mean, that that is long gone. I think maybe a few years ago they were in for him or would have been interested in him. But but not right now. Uh, China, I think it's the other way around. I don't think he would be interested in China, but even though they may be able to offer the the sort of financial incentives, but even that is, I saw an article the other day about sort of that being curtailed a little bit, um, the sort of Chinese government looking into that side of things. Um, MLS could be an option, um, but again, I don't know that they would, that is a, still a lot of money, even for the LM MLS. It's not like they've got bottomless uh, pit of cash. They've got wage caps, and that it's a lot more strict actually out there. So it's a really difficult situation. And if he is going to move away, I, I think a loan move somewhere where we partially sort of fund it might be the the best, the the more, more most realistic option. Uh, whether it's the best option or not, I don't know. But um, I certainly see the argument for experiencing other sort of leagues, uh, other football with you know with the sort of long term future in terms of his coaching, etc. But uh, I just don't see it happening that easily. Not as easily as people are making out. It's like, oh, he's broken the record. See you later, Wayne. Actually, it's he's broken the record. He probably feels he can contribute and will. It will be that conversation he has with Jose Mourinho in the summer. Do you think I'm going to get that many games? If not, where can I go? And I don't know. I can't think of anywhere right now that is reali a realistic option where all sort of parties are going to be happy. Well, I've got a suggestion, actually, and I'll put this to you, Paul, because you brought up the, the, th the thought of going abroad. This is somewhere that speaks a different language, but Rooney's actually fluent in it. What if he went back to Everton? <laughs> um, I mean, the... the, the you PSG got mentioned a couple of times. A team with aspirations at winning the Champions League uh, it seems remarkably unlikely they would make not a they move. Wanna, they don't want to build a brand. Is that not a name that they would like to attract, do you think? I, I are they, are think they past that, that stage now, then? Yeah, I, I, they're, they're definitely past that, past that stage now. They had Zlatan for five years or four years or whatever it was. Um, the, uh, the thing about Everton is, let alone Rooney not improving a side aiming for the Champions League, 
do you really sincerely think that playing Rooney every week would improve Everton? Because I'm not convinced. I think Rooney's been at his best this season when he's played very limited amounts of football. And uh, Everton are trying to build something there if Rooney's like, yeah, pay me 50 grand a week and I'll come and play for you because I love you. No, never mind, Shearer's 50 quid a week. I'm not sure he'd accept 50 grand a week. Um, but the, the so if Rooney's prepared to do that and like say he's happy to be the club captain and take a kind of coaching, player coach role and expect to uh, make 10 starts and 10 sub appearances a season, then he'd be a wonderful signing for Everton. But if he's actually planning to play week in, week out, I'm not sure he can cut it at this level, at, that, at even that level anymore. All right, the third option on the table for Wayne Rooney is coaching. John, I'm going to throw this one at you. When he was picking up his awards this week at the Football Writers Association, he mentioned that it's one of his ambitions to go into management. He thinks that the experience that he's got and the, um, the knowledge that he's accrued as, during his football career is too valuable to just be allowed to go to waste when he stops playing. Is that Wayne Rooney opening the door to a possible management or coaching role, do you think? You know, I think it's a very interesting to, uh, point to mention uh, retired players going into management. I was watching an old clip yesterday when uh, Gary Neville first returned to Monday Night Football after his uh, Valencia stint and Jamie Carragher is having a blast just grilling him. And uh, and then the, the question gets redirected to Jamie Carragher and then – uh, David goes, you know, Jamie, how come you're how come you're not going into management? Do you have thoughts about going to ma into management? And then Gary Neville interjects and says, you know, I've always in I've always told Jamie to go into management, get his badges, at least have his badges, because uh, at the end of the day, you know, with all this experience, you never know where you want to go. I mean, you're going to sit there in the on your chair all day, and you're going to want to sort of get back into it at some point. And I think Wayne Rooney can start in the management. I think he has the potential in terms of uh, the quality, uh, the experience, uh, uh, you know. But that's that's the sort of the tricky part into management is regardless of how great of a player you were, that doesn't sort of necessarily determine how good of a manager you're going to be. And I think um, nobody's going to know for sure if he's going to be the next the next best thing or the next worst thing, whatever it may be. But I think going into management will be a very good option for wearing Rooney. <laughs> Uh, and one thing's for certain, he definitely has the rage. So, you know, going into a dressing room, if you're, you know, if your team's getting spanked 4 0, you know, he's going to go in there and blow, blow crap up. So, yeah, I mean, it'll be a good, I think it'll be a good idea, uh, definitely going into management. I don't see him in punditry. I don't think he's got the, the sort of lingo for that. So, yeah, management, pretty decent option. Josh, he did mention uh, at the Football Writers Awards that he is currently doing his coaching badges. Do you think he could step from Manchester United, maybe this season or even next season, straight into a role either as a coach or a manager? Um, I think it would be difficult to go straight into a role as a manager, um, even with his uh, you know, playing experience. And uh, as John said, it doesn't necessarily correlate to being a top manager. Um, I think the coaching badges, yeah, get them under your belt. And then, you know, if I was someone like Wayne Rooney, and, I, and certainly even if I was any player getting my badges, a coaching role to start off with, I think, would be more appropriate. I, I just don't know of many managers that have gone straight into management as uh, management from playing and have done well. I think eventually you get found out. You've got to have the basics there. It's an option. I mean, I don't know sort of... <laughs> You know, I don't know. We don't know Wayne well enough to know sort of how how he would suit a, a management role. I think coaching, maybe you look at the likes of, you know, like Nicky Butt. I think he's doing quite nicely in that coaching arena. But I think that step up to management. I, I just for me, his character, his persona. I don't see him making that step. I mean, it's not a prediction, but just a gut feeling, because like I said, I don't know the guy. Uh, it's obviously an option for any player to try and go into that um, arena, but I don't know that, in my mind, for Wayne, it's currently a realistic option. So maybe in the future, once he's done his badges, got some stuff under his belt, and then you start to see more of his personality as a coach. Uh, but at the moment, I, just, I, don't, I can't envisage him in the dugout sort of directing teams. I think that's one of the criticisms that a lot of fans have of Wayne Rooney is that probably because he's been 
shrouded with media attention since he was 16 years old. You've never really got to understand or know what Wayne Rooney is like, but the players that have worked with him and the players that play with him and some of the younger players underneath him actually say that he's ace. He talks to them, he's giving them advice all the time, so maybe we just don't know Wayne Rooney enough. As You already mentioned it. We just don't know what Wayne Rooney's actually like because he seems to be able to mix with the likes of Bobby Charlton, the under-18s, and then all of his teammates at once, so maybe he, he is actually very adaptable to all of those situations. Paul, do you see him on the sideline anytime soon, do you think, as a coach think, or as a manager? I think you just made a really salient and important point because I, I think um, the caricature of Wayne Rooney is so far removed from what we actually know of what people say about him. I, I think he is he's actually really smart, especially about football. Like He doesn't have brilliant tactical discipline, but I think that's about his drive rather than about a lack of understanding. I think he knows what the job is supposed to be. And, you know, um, Patrice Evra gave a quote the other day where Fergie had said that he was one of the people in the dressing room that could go on to become a manager because he is able to communicate his will to win to other players. And that much more important than tactical awareness or footballing knowledge is your communication ability. And the way other players talk about Wayne Rooney makes you think that, um, his ability to communicate with other footballers and understand the world of football is uh, probably a, a very, very high level. I absolutely agree that the idea of him standing in a touchline in a suit directing traffic is kind of a, a difficult one to visualise, but I I won't be shocked if he turns out to be a really good coach. I think, I think he's going to struggle with some aspects of the job. I'm not sure... He would be brilliant at handling the press uh, as a manager. I think he's done it very well as a captain because a, a captain plays with a really straight bat. It's very simple, that job. Um, but, you know, Lou Van Gaal called him the best captain he'd ever had, which whatever you think of Van Gaal is very high praise um, in terms of the, the stuff about captaincy that's about communication and knitting the dressing room together. So if he can convert that to first a coaching role and maybe you know, takes an assistant manager's job somewhere, the manager steps aside and he steps in. I don't think it would be a complete shock if that happened. Right then, we've heard the three potential things that Wayne Rooney could do. This is your chance now. We're going to go to each of you individually. You've got 30 seconds, one-on-one, -on -one, straight down the camera. Tell Wayne Rooney what he needs to be doing next with his career because no one knows better than people on YouTube. Are you ready, John? Yes, sir. Go. All right, Wayne. You know your your time's almost up. You've done your you've done your bit for Manchester United. You're in the history books for Manchester United. But let's face it. You know you're you're getting older. Your legs aren't going to carry you through until the end of your life playing for Manchester United. So I think it's a good time for you to move on, see different pastures, see gr uh, greener pastures elsewhere, uh, gain more experience on other leagues like the likes of MLS. You know they're going to be calling for your name. Uh, take a bit of that wage cut. You know you know you're not going to be making two hundred k. What already? It's a five. <laughs> Five seconds. You can, I'll give you that last five seconds again to make your point. Because you just waffled there, John. You didn't really give me anything. You'll tell me. Fine. you got 30 seconds. You've got to tell me. So you've got five seconds now. So just give, give me a line. What does he need to do? Take a wage cut. Move from Manchester United somewhere into MLS, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, have fun. All right, that was eight seconds, but never mind. Right, Joshy, <laughs> are you ready? 30 seconds, straight down the lens. You've I'm got an arm round there. Wayne Rooney. Here's what he needs to do. Go. All right, listen, Wayne, you've had a great time at United. You've achieved everything you possibly can do. Forget about what people are telling you. Do what you feel is right. See, <laughs> think about what you can achieve uh, moving forward. You want to be a coach? Go and be a coach, but don't do it um, lightheartedly. Go and get your badges, um, experience other leagues, go and listen to other managers and learn about other other cultures and then take that through and become that coach you want to be and eventually Time. you will get that manager's job. Ooh, so we've got one saying MLS. Josh is saying get into coaching. What's Paul going to do? Are you ready, Paul? I'm ready. Put your arm around him. Get in close. <laughs> Maybe smell his neck a little bit. I don't know. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Go. First of all, Wayne, thank you. It's been a pleasure. And uh, what you should do is Milan for a season. They don't have spaghetti hoops, but they do have amazing spaghetti of other varieties. Then head to LA, spend a season there, then go back to Spain, play for Espanyol for a year, and uh, then take a coaching job at Everton. You'll love it. It'll be perfect for you. Oh, he's only used 22 seconds. All right. Uh, I've, got a, I've, I've said I what I need to, to say. 
I need to decide a winner out of all of those lot. Ah. Milan, Los Angeles, Barcelona. You're far, you're far too specific, though. You're yeah, there's a lot of travelling. He's got a young family, man. Yeah, he'll yeah, love it. Awesome. He'll love it. They'll, they'll, they'll travel the world having profound experiences. Rooney will learn all about football and then he'll be an excellent coach. It's perfect. <laughs> I think that's I think... just what I said, though. <laughs> no, I think you, if you... you look at what you just said there, so you're saying he can go to Milan, they have other types of spaghetti, and then he can go to LA, they've got burgers there, he's going to be happy. But Espanol was where your argument fell down because they're not. <laughs> they, he's going to have to try paella, and that's got vegetables in it, and he's not going to deal with that. So I think this we're going is... to have to rule that one out completely. This is the, the, the public image of Rooney that is a disparity from his actual no, real. I think, that's, much I think that one's quite accurate, Rooney. actually. <laughs> so I'm left with. Does he go to the MLS or does he get his coaching badges? And I actually think it needs to be a little bit of a combination of both. I think his time as a Manchester United player is coming to an end and I do think that there's more in his career that he can go on and achieve. And I think he could take um, another level up in the MLS. I think he'd go and do well there. He'd certainly do more than Steven Gerrard did there. The leagues he's won over here. Why not go and add an MLS medal to it? And let's find out if he's going to be a good coach. Spend that time getting your coaching badges. But to be a good coach, I think you need to have a broader experience. He's got a lot of experience, but it's very narrow. And one thing I will say to finish off on Wayne Rooney is at 31 years of age, that's not too young for him to be finished. He's got more games under his belt now than what Paul Scholes had when Paul Scholes retired at the age of 36. So this is a lot of miles on the clock for Wayne Rooney and I don't think there's any shame in him going over to the MLS at this age at this stage of his career and then whatever happens after that so I think that's uh, probably where we're going to wrap it up I think what do you guys think in the comments below do you think he should move abroad do you think he should stay at the club or do you think he should look to his coaching badges and become a manager and how do you think he would do if he did that get your comments in thank you for watching and we'll see you later